This is a quick video to explain how we are assessing students over the final 10 school weeks of MFL. So um, the exam board has asked us to issue students with a grade, grade one to nine, but also a speaking endorsement, which shows a student's competency in speaking the language, whether it be French or German. The speaking endorsement has a very specific criteria um, and the students can be awarded either a pass, merit or distinction for their speaking competency. The criteria for the speaking endorsement says that we have to um, assess our students and get evidence from a minimum of two different topics that students should show us that they can ask questions at least on two different occasions in the foreign language. So because of that, what we have done is we've separated our um, eight teaching weeks into two week chunks, focusing on two topic areas at a time, revising those topic areas, and then students facing a small assessment. Now, the assessments that we're talking about here are around um, two minutes long, some maybe 15 to 20 minutes long, but they are much smaller, more manageable assessments. So the speak uh, in the first block of two weeks for German, we're going to be um, looking at the topic of school and free time and the assessments will be a role play and a photo card speaking task. Now these assessments, like I say, are two to three minutes long. The second block of two weeks, we will revise the topic of family and home and they will focus on uh, writing translation um, and another speaking role play. After Easter, the topics we will revise are holiday and food. Um, for higher students, they will be assessed um, by way of a 90 word writing task and a speaking role play. And the foundation students will have a 40 word task and a photo writing task. In the final two, block, uh, two week block, they will focus on the topic of work and further education. Their assessments will be, a, for higher students, a 150 word writing task and for foundation students, a 90 word foundation um, task. They will also have to submit a speaking presentation, which is um, up to one minute long on a topic which they have chosen. Now, this um, forms the main part of their homework. They will be able to prepare their presentation, um, write a script, um, learn that script. They can get it marked by the teachers. Um, they can then improve it and then submit their presentation recorded to us. Now, that can be recorded at school. Um, it should only take a, a minute or two just to record that and submit it to the teacher. For French, it's exactly the same model, but different topic areas. So the first block of two weeks is school and self and family. The second block is free time and festivals. After the Easter, we have home and holidays, and then the topic of school for the final two weeks. Once we have revised all of these topic areas, we will have, as a school, two weeks of mock exams. For French and for German, our students will have a listening paper, which they will do in um, class time at either foundation or higher um, level. They have a reduced number of topics, um, which reflect the topics which we have covered with them in um, the year nine to year 11. They will also have a reading mock exam at either foundation or higher, which they will complete in the hall um, as any other mock exam. Um, you can help your um, child by supporting them with their presentation, checking whether they have prepared it, whether they've submitted it, checked whether um, they have asked their teacher for any um, feedback on their presentation and also remind them of weekly vocabulary learning. I hope that helps you.